Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're now going to solve a problem that deals with even and odd integers. Uh, let's go ahead and read this one together first. If n is a positive integer, which of the following must represent an even integer that is four times the value of an odd integer? So the first thing we're told is that n is a positive integer. Uh, and the second thing we're told is that it must represent an even integer. So if we plug in positive integers for... Um, each of these let's go ahead and do you know some of the first five uh, you should be able to get an even integer as a response so if you were to plug in um, one for example you'd have four here uh, which is even but if you plugged in one here you would have four plus three which is odd um, and you see that 4 is an even number and 3 is an odd number. And when you add an even plus an odd, you always get an odd. Each of these has an even uh, value that you're adding to the 4n or 8n. So each of these also satisfies that the response be even. Now the next uh, requirement that our answer has to have is that it is 4 times the value of an odd integer. So we're going to go ahead and plug in these numbers and check which of these satisfy that requirement. So for n, uh, for 1, you'd have 4 times 1, which is 4, and 4 divided by 4 uh, gives you 1, which is odd. So this one does. Uh, 4n plus 8, so 4, plus, 4 times 1 is uh, 4, plus 8 is 12, and 12 divided by 4 gives you 3, which is odd. It also does it. Um, this, you know, 8 plus 4 is again 12, so this is the exact same thing. Um, and then 8n, 8n plus 6, you would have 8 plus 6, which is 14. And you're dividing this by uh, 4. And here you run into problems because you no longer have an integer. Um, you can cross out that option as well. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and plug in 2. So for 2, you would have 8, right? 4 times 2 is 8, and you divide this by 4, and you would get 2. And 2 is an even integer, not an odd integer. So we're already crossing this one out. Now we're left between these two options. If you were to plug in 2 here, you would have uh, 4 times 2 being 8 plus 8, 16. You divide 16 by 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, um, 4 being an even integer. So this cannot be the answer. And um, this is the only option we have left but just to check if you were to plug in 2 here you would get 16 plus 4 um, which is 20 right and if you divide 20 by 4 you get 5 which is again an odd integer so this is the answer and if you were to plug in more numbers you would see that this holds true for more positive integers and down the line um, I hope this helped with this problem and uh, with this sort of problem in general. If you see options that you wouldn't be able to solve for in a problem, plugging in numbers, uh, especially for the SAT, the first first five numbers, uh, usually don't you don't even need to do all of them like this problem, um, really helps you weed out some of the answers that are obviously not um, correct. Anyway, good luck with your studying everybody.